The salt and pepper ribs are a wonderful combination of savoury, salty and spicy. They're cooked long and slow so that meat is lovely and tender, almost so it falls off the bone. And then they're fried up to crisp perfection. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Now, salt and pepper ribs are one of Chris's favourites, so he's really looking forward to these. And I'm going to show you the steps to get that meat to be lovely and tender and falling off the bone, and then how to get that signature salt and pepper flavour. So let's get cooking. I've got a lovely meaty ribs here, and I definitely advise you to go for the meatiest ribs you can find. You can usually find them in the supermarket ready sliced for you, but if you can't, you could buy a rack of ribs and slice them up yourself, or you can get the butcher to do it for you. Now, the first crucial step in this recipe is to boil up the ribs. That's right, we're going to boil them. We're going to add those ribs to a large, heavy-based pan. And to that, we're going to add one litre of chicken stock, a teaspoon of minced ginger, three cloves of garlic that have been peeled and chopped in half, a tablespoon of rice wine, and a tablespoon of castor or granulated sugar. Bring it all to a boil and then turn it down to simmer and place a lid on the pan. And we're gonna cook that for about two and a half to three hours until that meat is just about starting to fall off the bone. Now that those ribs have finished cooking and they're lovely and tender, we're going to make the coating to go on the ribs and that will give them a lovely crispy finish. So I'm starting with three tablespoons of corn flour or cornstarch in my bowl. To that we're going to add one and a half teaspoons each of salt and black pepper and two teaspoons of Chinese five spice. I give that a good mix together to combine. Remove the ribs from the pan and give them a good shake, then add them into the bowl with the coating. We're going to toss the ribs in the coating to make sure they're thoroughly coated. Now I've got a little bit of that dry coating left in the bottom of the bowl and we really don't want to waste it. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of cold water to that, give it a mix together and then we're going to brush it on top of the ribs and that will help produce a lovely light crispy coating when we come to fry it. I know it's a little bit unorthodox to do it with this method, but it does ensure that we use all of the flavour that's in that bowl and we end up with lovely crispy ribs. So now we're going to fry them up. We're going to shallow fry the ribs. So add about 240 ml or a cup of oil to a large frying pan and heat over a medium to high heat. Once the oil's hot, add the ribs one at a time and we're going to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, carefully turning them every three to four minutes until the ribs are cooked, golden and crisp. Now those ribs are absolutely delicious, just as they are, but I do also love to serve them with a nice spring onion, chilli and garlic topping. So heat a tablespoon of oil in a small frying pan and to that we're going to add a small bunch of spring onions or scallions that have been sliced on the diagonal. We're also going to add in a red and a green chilli that have been finely chopped half a teaspoon of salt and two minced cloves of garlic. Now fry them all together, move them around the pan constantly and cook for about one to two minutes. Then we're going to sprinkle that lovely spicy garlicky topping all over the ribs. Oh my gosh, they smell absolutely amazing. And that meat, I can see it, it's just lovely and tender and just starting to fall off the bone, but it's also nice and crispy on the outside too. And if you love these salt and pepper ribs, then why not give my salt and pepper chicken a try too, over there. I'll see you over there. Oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> 